Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on automatic enrollment of hybrid Azure AD joint devices to Intune using group policy object. We can use a group policy to trigger auto enrollment to mobile device management for Active Directory domain joint devices. The enrollment into Intune is triggered by a group policy created on a local Active Directory and happens without any user interaction. Using this, we can automatically mass enroll a large number of domain join corporate devices into Microsoft Intune. The enrollment process starts in the background once users sign in to the device with his or her Azure AD account. Let's understand the prerequisites for automatic Intune enrollment of hybrid Azure AD joint Windows 10 devices. First, ensure that the user who is going to enroll the device has a valid Intune license. Let's check that. Sign into the Azure portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Under Manage, click on Users. Click on Username, which is Taste User 1 in my case. Under Manage, click on Licenses. We can confirm that user has active Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 license assigned to him. Click on Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5. Verify user has license for Microsoft Intune as well. Second, ensure that auto enrollment is activated for those users who are going to enroll the device into Intune. To verify it, click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Mobility, MDM and MAM. Click on Microsoft Intune. As we can see that the all users can register the devices in Intune or they are scope for the Intune. MDM user scope is set for all. Third, verify that the device OS version is Windows 10 version 1709 or later. Let's jump to our Windows 10 client computer. Now, this is our Windows 10 client computer, which is part of our on-premises Active Directory. Open Run menu, type WinWare and press Enter key. We can see the OS is Windows 10 with version 21H1. Auto-enrollment into Intune via group policy is valid only for devices that are hybrid Azure AD join. Let's verify that. Let's right click on start button. Select system. You can see the full device name is win10-cli01.msfsura.local. So this device name is win10-cli01. To confirm this, let's go to Azure AD admin center web interface. Let me click on Azure Active Directory again. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Here we can see devices listed here under All Devices, Win10-CLI01. And you can confirm that join type is hybrid Azure AD join method. We have another way to verify that. Let's again go back to our Windows 10 client computer. Uh, let's again open command prompt. And at command prompt, I'm going to type command dsragcmd slash status. Let's press enter key. Under device state, we can confirm Azure AD join is set to yes, as well as domain join is also set to yes. We can confirm that the device is properly hybrid join if both Azure AD join and domain join are set to yes. And that is our case. Now let's have a look into group policy implementation for automatic Intune enrollment. For that, 
we will go to our domain controller virtual machine on this virtual machine we have installed and configured azure ad connect tool in the previous videos now i'm going to open group policy management console for that i'm going to click on tools and select the group policy management right click on group policy objects and select new and the name of the gpu that you want to deploy to windows 10 clients for intune enrollment here i'm giving name microsoft intune mdm gpu click on okay to create a new gpu right click on newly created gpu and select add it navigate to computer configuration policies administrative templates windows components and scroll down until you find the mdm folder let me maximize it double click on enable automatic mdm enrollment using default azure ad credentials policy so this is the policy setting which specifies whether to automatically enroll the device to the mobile device management service configured in azure active directory if the enrollment is successful the device will remotely be managed by the mdm service click on enable option to enable the intune enrollment option for hybrid ad join windows 10 devices select credential type to use option is important the default option is to use user credentials if you click on this drop down arrow you have another option device credential we will use the default option which is use the credential click on apply and click on ok now we have created and configured the group policy for mdm intune enrollment i'm going to close group policy management editor console the next step is to link the group policy to an ou in active directory I have stored the computer account of Windows 10 computer under OU name of workstations. So I link the GPU to workstations OU. Right click on uh, workstations OU and select link an existing GPU. Select the MDM Intune group policy which we have created earlier. Microsoft Intune MDM GPU. Click OK to complete the GPU assignment. Now let's manually update the group policy on Windows 10 computer since we don't want to wait for the group policy to update automatically. But first I'm going to close group policy management console and let's go back to our Windows 10 virtual machine. Here at command prompt I'm going to type command gpupdate slash force and let's press enter key. Okay, computer and user policy update has completed successfully, but we also want to restart the computer as well. So I'm going to close a uh, command prompt and let's restart this Windows 10 computer. Now let's go back to our domain controller. Uh, we will initiate manual sync to Azure AD using Azure AD Connect tool to see the result instantly. For that, I'm going to right click on start button and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. We will use the CMD late start hyphen ad sync sync cycle space hyphen policy type delta to manual sync Azure Active Directory and our on premises Active Directory. Let's press Enter key to start the sync process. Okay, it is successful. Now, now I'm going to close Windows PowerShell. We have one more issue is there. Uh, let me show you my domain name for on premises active directory is msapsuda.local and if i show you the upn of my user test user one if you double click on it and click on account the upn is user one at msapsuda.local if you see the upn in azure active directory that will be the change uh, let's click on users and if you click on uh, uh, if you see for taste user 1, if you check the UPN for our taste user 1, it is user 1 at msapsuda.onmicrosoft.com. Now, here we have a problem. If we use this local UPN to sign into Windows 10 computer, then we are not able to auto enroll 
hybrid Azure AD join device to Intune, even if we have configured the group policy. Let me show you that. Let's go to a Windows 10 computer. Uh, here we are using the user account of taste user one. So basically we are using user one at msapsurat.local to sign into this Windows 10 computer. And let's see what happens. Uh, let me open the command prompt. Uh, let's type the command dsragcmd slash status. Under tenant details, if you see for this three URLs, MDM URL, MDM TOU URL and MDM compliance URL. These three URLs, as you can see, this list is empty. Even if we have configured this thing in Azure Active Directory tenant. The reason is simple because we are using local user principal name, which is user one at msapsura.local and that's why we are not getting required information. Let me show you the same thing in Azure AD Admin Center web interface as well. If you click on mobility, MDM and MAM, and if you click on Microsoft Intune, here you can see those URLs. So this URL should be here. Instead of it is showing us blank. So already I told you the reason that we are using local user principal name and that's why we are not getting those URL. And if we are not getting those URLs, that means we are not able to enroll for MDM in Microsoft Intune. If you check same thing in Azure Active Directory as well, uh, let me click on devices. And if you click on all devices, still you can see a Windows 10 client computer is there, but under MDM, you can see it is set to none. And even we don't have owner as well. So now to fix this issue, I'm going back on my domain controller and let's open domains and trust. Now I need to add the UPN, go for the properties and here we need to add alternative UPN suffix. Now which suffix? We need to add this suffix. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. Let's uh, copy it. Let's go back to our domain controller and let's uh, paste here. Okay, so we're adding this suffix msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com to fix the issue. Add, apply, and okay. And now I need to change the UPN of those users who are syncing with Azure Active Directory. So we have only five users uh, who are syncing with Azure Active Directory. So this is way how we can change a UPN. Okay, so now users UPN is going to be user one at msapsurat.onmicrosoft.com. We need to do the same for all other users. Okay, let's do the same for taste user three, taste user four, and taste user five. Apply and okay. Now on premise user accounts UPN, is matching with the UPN in Azure Active Directory. Okay, now let's go back to Windows 10 computer. And first we need to sign out from here and we need to log into this Windows 10 computer using that new UPN. Okay, I'm going to click on other user. Now here you can see our domain name is there, but instead of I'm going to specify the entire UPN, which is going to be user one at MSF Surat dot on Microsoft dot com. Uh, again, I want to show the UPN user one at MSF Surat dot on Microsoft dot com. Now let's specify the user password and click on sign in. Okay, now let's open the command prompt. And now let's type command DS reg CMD slash status. Let's press enter key. Let's check the URLs again. And now you can see uh, we have MDM URLs. Now we can see all three URLs are listed here. So that means now this Windows 10 computer uh, should be successfully auto enroll in Microsoft Intune. Let's verify that. So to verify the enrollment from the Azure Active Directory Admin Center, we need to go there. So let's go to Azure AD Admin Center 
uh, click on Azure Active Directory, click on Devices, click on All Devices, and here we have our device. Uh, let me click on Refresh and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, still it is not there. Let's again click on Refresh. It is still showing MDM None and Owner is not there. So again, let's go back to our domain controller and uh, I'm going to perform the manual sync again to see the results quickly. Okay, it is successful. Uh, let's go back to the Azure AD Admin Center web interface. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay, it is still not there. Uh, I'm going to refresh the entire web page and let's see what happens. Okay, still it is not there. Uh, let's go back to a Windows 10 client computer and uh, let's uh, restart this computer once and let's check what happens. Okay, let's again sign in to this Windows 10 computer using the test user one's credential. Okay, let's go back to the Azure AD Admin Center web interface and let me click on refresh. Still it is not there. Uh, let me refresh the entire web page. Still it is not there. Let's click on uh, settings. Uh, click on accounts. On the left side, select access work or school. Click on connected to and if the info button is enabled then this device is enrolled. Here it is showing us that is it is enrolled. Here we can see the management server address. Okay, but still we are not able to see the same thing in Azure Active Directory. So let's go back to the Azure Active Directory admin center. Let me click on refresh. And now, now we can see our Windows 10 device is there. It is enabled. Join type is hybrid Azure AD join, but the important thing is here. Here we can see owner, it is taste user one. And under MDM, why it is showing us none. Well, let me refresh the entire page. It is still none. Okay, uh, let me click on sync. Okay, sync is in progress. Okay, it was successful. Uh, let's again go back to the Azure AD Admin Center web interface. And finally, now we have Microsoft Intune under MDM. So we can see a Windows 10 device. Join type is hybrid Azure AD join. Owner is taste to the one. And under MDM, now we can confirm it is enrolled to Microsoft to Intune. So at the moment, we can say that our hybrid Azure AD join Windows 10 device has successfully enrolled in Microsoft to Intune. So that concludes the video on auto enrollment of hybrid Azure AD join Windows 10 device to Microsoft Intune using group policy object. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.